We'll kick start this edition with some news just coming in. CBI has raided Karthi Chidambaram. Sources say Karthi Chidambaram was allegedly involved in facilitating visas to Chinese workers with a big conglomerate in lieu of a bribe. During the INX probe, CBI had recovered some documents which showed the inward and outward transactions linked to Karthi. Preliminary probe revealed this was bribe for facilitating project visas for this power project. Trouble brewing for the son of former Union Minister P. Chidamram with his son Karthi Chidamram now being raided by the CBI. This has happened in the past as well. In fact, this is an ongoing project. The CBI is raiding Karthi Chidamram. This is a fresh case that has been registered by the CBI against Karthi over alleged foreign remittances between the year 2010 to 2014. My colleague Akshita is breaking down the details for us. Not the first time, Akshita, that Karthi Chidambaram has been raided by the CBI. He was arrested in the past as well. But now we have a fresh case against Chidambaram. Do take us to the details. So the information we've picked up, uh, Sneha, from Munish Pandey is that uh, mm. the allegation dates back to 2010, when the UPA was in power, that Karthi Chidambaram facilitated visas for Chinese workers of a conglomerate uh, in lieu of a bribe. Now, the name of the project is Talwandi Sabo Power Limited, uh, and it is reportedly during the INX media case investigation that the CBI actually stumbled upon these documents uh, that uh, provided some insight into transactions that happened, that uh, kickbacks that Karthi has essentially received for these visas and the preliminary probe so far revealed that this was bribe for facilitating project visas for a power project. Extremely serious allegations this. The CBI after the preliminary probe also registered an FIR, the basis of which is charges of corruption against Karthi Chidambaram and that's what's prompted these searches right now. As far as Karthi himself is concerned, he's put out a one-line statement saying, I've lost count of how many times this has happened, this must be a record. He's not at any of the locations that are being raided right now. He's currently in London, but his properties in Tamil Nadu, in Delhi, in Mumbai are being raided. The obvious question that also will come up is about uh, his father, former minister P. Chidambaram, whether he's involved too. At this point, the CBI maintains that the investigation is against Karthi Chidambaram. But remember that this happened in 2010, reportedly. The allegations date back to 2010 when P. Chidambaram was the Home Minister. So all of this will lead to a lot of questions of how big this particular alleged kickback scam is. The allegations against Karthi Chidambaram, the involvement of Mr. P. Chidambaram as well in this case. The CBI is conducting searches. We're also awaiting an official statement from the agency right now. Well, absolutely. We're waiting for an official statement, but the allegation is that he took a bribe of 50 lakh rupees from a person called Sabu. Can you tell us a little more about this as well, Akshita? So the information that we're picking up right now is that that's a company, uh, uh, Sneha, and this was a power project for which Karthi Chidambaram reportedly helped, uh, allegedly, mind you, uh, and it was for facilitating project visas for this power project. The name of the project was the Talwandi Sabo Power Limited. Again, back to 2010, that's when reportedly this happened, that Karthi Chidambaram helped some of the Chinese workers of a conglomerate actually get visas for this power project. Now, obviously, at this point, the CBI is still conducting their investigation and they're still trying to honor the exact details of how this happened, how Karthi had them, what are the kind of kickbacks he received as well. But reportedly, this entire uh, scam, this entire kickback allegation came to the fore during the investigation to the INX media case, a case where Karthi Chidambaram has been arrested back in 2018. His father is also under the scanner in that particular case. And multiple raids have been conducted uh, on Karthi Chidambaram's properties, his residences in the last many years, many of which I've covered as well. And the CBI in the documents that they've seized, Sneha, in those cases, actually, in fact, it came to light there uh, that uh, there was some transaction that happened. That's when the CBI actually connected the dots. And they're looking into now these fresh allegations as well, which is why searches are being conducted. Be with us, Sakshita. I'll just come back to you for more on that in a bit from now. I'm also going to go 
straight across to Pramod Madhav is getting us all of those details from Chennai City. Pramod, uh, nine locations associated with P. Chidambaram are getting raided as we speak. This, of course, in connection with the allegations of bribe being received by his son, Karthi Chidambaram. Take us to the details of what sources within the CBI are indicating. Well, Akshita, we are outside the uh, all the uh, residence of the uh, former finance minister P. Chidambaram, and here you could see actually uh, police have caught in the location, and the investigation uh, by the CBI officials started around 7 uh, 6 30 in the morning, and close to 14 CBI officials have reached the spot. This is the residence of P. Chidambaram, and uh, uh, here the officials reached around 6 30 in the morning, and they have been, uh, as for like you know, the details we've got, they have been converted into two teams. Seven people are inside currently, seven officers in this place, and the other seven are at El Dorado. That is the uh, P. Chidambaram son, Kathi Chidambaram's uh, uh, office, which is at Nungambakam, almost uh, three kilometers from the spot, and the officials are present over there as well. Just like you mentioned, they've been... We'll just, in fact, go back to Pramod uh, for more on that in a bit, but these are raids that are ongoing right now at... Uh, premises associated with P. Chidambaram, former union minister, in connection with a case against Karthi Chidambaram, his son. Karthi Chidambaram, meanwhile, has reacted to the raids, saying that lost count. Uh, this is a fresh case. The CBI is conducting multiple searches at the homes and offices of Congress leader Karthi Chidambaram. The CBI is uh, looking at allegations of bribe being received by Karthi. This is a case linked to foreign remittances. Pramod Madhav is back with us for more. Pramod, you were taking us through the details of the premises that were being raided by the CBI. Yes, Akshita, we are currently standing outside uh, uh, Chidambaram's residence only. This is a place and officials are here. People who work at Chidambaram's house are also standing outside. And uh, uh, the, uh, like the, as the raid started around 6.30, the like, information about the raid came out around 8 uh, a.m. And what happened is that immediately Kathi Chidambaram, who is at London, actually attending an educational function uh, like, uh, regarding his daughter there, he tweeted like uh, he has completely lost the amount of time the raid has conducted so far. We know in this location itself, there have been raids at least three times here and uh, in uh, Kathi Chidambaram's uh, uh, office at Eldorado building, which is also at Nungambakam. And not just that, that has pertained to various other cases as well, including INOC case, foreign currency case. And this one, is, like as we get the information, is about providing visas in, like, in exchange for bribes. Uh, but Kathi Chidambaram, we, we tried reaching him as well so far. They couldn't get any kind of explanation on this matter. As we speak, CBA officials are inside this building and they are conducting the raid, Akshita. Also, take us through the details of this case. The name of the project associated with this particular alleged scam from all this, uh, Talwandi Sabu Power Limited. What exactly was the wrong doing here? Tell us a little more about that. Pramod. Yes, Akshita, we are standing outside and we are also like uh, waiting for some more details from the CBA officials. Uh, but so far, we just could see that uh, officials have gone inside and they have in the, in the initiated the raid. Uh, another team, which is at Eldorado building, is also conducting the raid. Uh, they are mostly looking for documents and various other uh, uh, pertaining uh, kind of like evidences that the search apparently is going on for. This is the information that we, uh, we've been provided by the uh, uh, sources from CBA, Akshita. Pramod, be with us. I'll just come back to you for more on that in a bit. I'm going to go across once again to Akshita, who's joining us. But before that, Munish Pandey also getting us more details on that. Munish, take us through the alleged wrongdoing in this entire matter. I believe this is a fresh case that has been registered against Karthi Chidambaram. Yeah, well, Sneha, remember there was a case against Karthi Chitambram in the INX media case. And now what we have been given to understand by our sources within the Central Bureau of Investigation, that during the probe of that particular case, there were some documents received by the Central Bureau of Investigation based on which a preliminary inquiry was initiated by them. Now, during that preliminary inquiry, the CBI found evidence against Karthi Chitambram, and that is why he has been named as accused in the fresh FIR. But... All these irrigations are very important. So far as the CBI FIR is concerned, we have been given to understand is that uh, there was a power project for which, uh, for which uh, Mr. Karthi Zidamram took bribe of rupees 50 lakh to get visas for Chinese workers. And on those allegations, the Central Bureau of Investigation is conducting searches at nine, nine locations uh, in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Punjab, Orissa and Mumbai. Also, we have been given to understand is that there is one power project company 
in India, there is one company of China which are under scanner of the Central Bureau of Investigation. There are certain individuals of these uh, uh, particular power project company uh, uh, who are under scanner of the CBI. But as far as Karthik Zambaram role is concerned, the CBI sources have told India today that because he took bribe of rupees 50 lakh allegedly to get uh, visas for these Chinese workers, and that is why uh, after uh, the preliminary inquiry revealed uh, his role in the um, um, uh, particular crime, he has been named as accused in the case, and that is why these searches are being conducted. Yes, you yeah. know, Akshita, I'm just going to come back to you, Munish. Akshita, what I also want to know is that uh, these are visas for Chinese workers for a project, presumably. Uh, it wasn't being facilitated the normal route. Why is that? Uh, you know, it's clear at this point that uh, Karthi Chidambaram, this is the allegation from the CBI Sneha, that he received kickbacks for facilitating these visas. Now, there will be questions about whether these visas were expedited, what is the kind of role, uh, how did Karthi Chidambaram really help these workers, was it for a mass big group, etc. These are questions that we're still awaiting answers to. The CBI is yet to issue any sort of statement with regards to what's prompted these searches as well. We're also, of course, reaching out to Karthi Chidambaram right now, uh, for a comment. He's in London. I've been calling him. I've dropped him a couple of messages as well. Right now, he's not willing to speak. Uh, is of course, dealing with, I'm sure, the legal aspects also of these kind of searches that are being conducted. But the residence uh, that Pramod was reporting from is in Nungambakam in Chennai. A stone's throw away from that is Karthi's office also. Uh, now, remember that the residence in Chennai as well as Delhi is a place that Karthi stays with along with his father, P. Chidambaram. But these raids, according to the CBI, uh, is restricted to Karthi, to Karthi's role in this particular scam. The allegations of kickbacks are particularly against him. So we don't have uh, any details right now about uh, perhaps the involvement of Mr. Chidambaram as well. He was the Home Minister back in 2010, which is when this alleged scam dates back to. Uh, having said that, there are several other locations also, offices, residences. Karthi has another residence also in Tamil Nadu, which is in Shivaganga his constituency, again, somewhere where his father also stays. But right now, Karthi is in London, Sneha. Right now, he's in London, but trouble could be brewing for him uh, even further, given that searches are going on, a fresh case has been registered. What are you really picking up from what the CBI, Munish, is finding in, its, the, in these raids? Yeah, well, at this point of time, CBI is looking for documents related to this particular project. The documents related to the uh, uh, visas of these Chinese workers and documents related to the alleged kickback of rupees 50 lakh. This is, this is what CBI is looking, uh, you know, uh, uh, in these searches. Now, as far as Karthi Chidambaram is concerned, you rightly pointed out, trouble is mounting for him because these are the first step by the Central Bureau of Investigation once they registered an FIR. Searches at the premises of accused and suspects in the case. And in this case, apart from Karthi Chitambaram, there is an Indian power project company that is being searched. There are certain individuals, directors of this company. These people are being searched. And also, those people who were involved in this alleged kickback of rupees 50 lakh to Mr. Karthi Chitambaram. Now, these people are being searched by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Once these searches are over, then the Central Bureau of Investigation will start issuing summons to certain people, those who are involved in this particular alleged crime. But Karthi Chitambaram will also be summoned by the Central Bureau of Investigation. That is what sources have told India today. And once he has been summoned, then only CBI will decide that whether he will be arrested or not. And remember, Karthi Chitambaram is someone who was arrested by the Central Bureau of Investigation earlier also in a different case. So overall, there are certain um, um, uh, there are certain documents based on which the Central Bureau of Investigation converted a preliminary inquiry into the FIR and now they are looking for some incriminating material, what they are calling it incriminating material they are looking for in these searches which can link um, uh, these allegations, these allegations of 50 lakh bribe to Karthi Chidambra. Yeah. You know, also, Munish, uh, the question here is that uh, this is an ally the allegation essentially is that the wrongdoing dates back to the year 2010, essentially, between the, two between the period of 2010 to 2014. How is that this matter is being investigated right now? 
Yeah, well, Sneha, this is a very important question. And according to sources within the Central Bureau of Investigation, the alleged crime took place between 2010 to 2014. Now, what CBI sources are telling us, there was a person called Bhaskar, and he was under scanner by the Central Bureau of Investigation in the INX media case. And when he was called for questioning, he submitted certain documents to the CBI. The CBI scrutinized those documents. They were going through the documents, and then they came to know about this bribe of rupees 50 lakh rupees. Then there was a separate preliminary inquiry which was initiated by the Central Bureau of Investigation. They recorded statements of certain individuals, certain individuals who are linked to this Indian power project company, certain individuals who are uh, linked to uh, those uh, in, uh, linked to those uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, involved in this Chinese project also. After recording these statements of those people, CBI found some uh, concrete evidence in the case, the material evidence in the case, based on which they have registered the fresh FIR now. And now after registering this FIR, there are uh, searches at nine locations in multiple states at this point of time. And these searches may expand in, uh, uh, you know, in the uh, uh, coming days because CBI is also claiming that uh, the Particular teams of CBI in different states have also been informed to initiate a search operation on certain individuals. What exactly was this project, Akshita, that uh, the Chinese workers needed visas for, essentially? This is a thermal power plant in Punjab, the Talwandi Sabo Power Limited. Uh, it was commissioned in 2013, interestingly, uh, Sneha. And it is reportedly for this particular power project uh, that Karthi Chidambaram was allegedly involved in providing visas uh, en masse, reportedly, for a massive Chinese conglomerate. Uh, that is the information we have. This is a coal-based uh, thermal power plant in Banavla village, which is why right now, as Munish was also telling us, there are raids happening in nine locations, including the state of Punjab which is where this power plant is based. It was for this project between 2010 to 2014 and this project was actually commissioned in 2013. So in that period, in that time frame, is when reportedly, allegedly, Karthi Chidambaram had helped these Chinese workers get visas. Uh, what I can also tell you, the allegation is that Karthi Chidambaram got kickbacks, got a bribe of 50 lakh rupees to get these visas for Chinese workers for a project. And the transaction of 50 lakh rupees actually came to light when the CBI was investigating the INX media case in which Karthi, as well as his father Chidambaram, are under the scanner, based on which, of course, multiple raids have been conducted on his properties. At that point, when they were going through and scanning some of the documents, is when this transaction came to light. Now we're hearing that the bribe was up to a sum of 50 lakh rupees and this was received by Karthi Chidambaram for providing and helping facilitating essentially these visas. You asked me earlier also Sneha uh, about why there was a need for Karthi Chidambaram to actually help here. That's a big question mark. We're still awaiting details of what was the role Karthi played what is the allegation he faces in actually facilitating these visas for these Chinese workers, for this massive Chinese conglomerate? But this was for a power project uh, that was commissioned in 2013, again under the UPA regime in Punjab, which is why raids are happening in one location, we're being told, in Punjab, in Odisha, in Karnataka, there are raids, three locations in Tamil Nadu, which I'm going to presume are Karthi's residence in Chennai, his office in Chennai, and his other residence in his constituency of Shivaganga. Three locations in all in Tamil Nadu, uh, as well as Mumbai, where there are raids that are happening right now. What is the outcome of these searches? Are we going to be seeing more serious charges against Karthi Chidambaram? That remains at this point a question mark. There's been no statement from his father, P. Chidambaram, as well on this. And what we're hearing right now, Munish, of course, can confirm that, is that the investigation by the CBI is right now limited to Karthi Chidambaram. But right now, for obvious reasons, there are going to be questions about whether his father was also involved with regards to misuse of office, because that's a very similar allegation in the ASL Max's case, in the INX media case against P. Chidambaram as well. In this case, too, is there a similar role that the CBI CBI is going to be looking into because if you're talking about 2010 to 2014, Chidambaram served as the Home Minister, he served as the Finance Minister also then. So big question mark on that as well. Absolutely. Munish, could trouble be brewing for P. Chidambaram as well? Given that the father, P. Chidambaram, was the Home Minister at this point in time and the son, who happens to be a Lok Sabha MP now, seems to have pulled strings. That's the allegation. Yeah, well, Sneha, remember these... Uh, allegations against Karthi Chitambaram are in regards to 
the visas of 250 Chinese nationals for this particular project in Punjab. And for that, he received alleged kickback of rupees 50 lakh rupees. Now, it is yet to be seen that whether Mr. P. Chidambaram was involved in or not, but also we do need to understand is that the person uh, who can uh, manipulate with visas for Chinese national or any national, that person has to be have a reach in the government, then only those visas can be expedited or, or the permission can be granted to a Chinese company or Chinese nationals. So this is yet to be seen that what CBI is going to do next because as of now... Is be with us. In fact, we have some information is, just coming in at this hour. We'll just come back to you. This is the inside scoop on CBI's Karthi Chidambaram raids that we are getting at this hour. The Karthi China link seems to have been established by the CBI, which is looking closely at this matter. This is the alleged bribery link that has emerged. Karthi Chidambaram allegedly to bribe for visas for about 50, 250 Chinese workers for a project. Munish continues to be with us. Munish, you're talking about the manner in which he facilitated, probably, that's the allegation, the visas. He pulled strings and obviously would have had a great amount of uh, influence in terms of ensuring that these visas were guaranteed for 250 of these Chinese workers. Absolutely, Sneha, because uh, the allegations are very uh, serious in nature. Uh, getting visas for 250 Chinese nationals for which he was granted uh, or you can say alleged bribe of rupees 250, uh, alleged bribe of 50 lakh rupees was given to him. Now, as far as this power project is concerned, or you know the Chinese company is concerned, they are also under scanner. But what becomes very important is that whether Mr. Karthi Chidambaram was in uh, position to influence visas for uh, 250 Chinese nationals or not, and if it was not in direct position to influence those visas, then someone in the government might have helped. At that point of time, Congress was in power, so certainly certain politicians of Congress party will be under scanner of the Central Bureau of Investigation and they must be uh, uh, being probed by the Central Bureau of Investigation. As far as the accused list is concerned, only Karthi Chidambaram has been named as an accused, P. Chidambaram's role or even his, of his um, uh, possible involvement is not mentioned by the CBI, but it is only part of probe when uh, the CBI will, uh, uh, you know, uh, get to know about any Congress leader or Mr. P. Chidambaram, then only they will come under scanner of the CBI. Yes, yeah. the ambit of the investigations in that sense, Munish is going to get wider. Who are the bureaucrats involved? Who are the politicians involved? At that point in time, to ensure that this was facilitated by a Karthi Chidambaram. Absolutely, Sneha. And, uh, 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 you know, at this point of time, there are nine locations which are being searched by the Central Bureau of Investigation. Uh, there is one power project company in India that is being searched, but there is one Chinese company also which is uh, under scanner of the Central Bureau of Investigation. As far as this Chinese company is concerned, what we have been given to understand is that that Chinese company uh, got involved in India through this power project and Mr. Karthi Chitambaram was actively involved in getting visas of 250 Chinese worker for this company for which he was given uh, a bribe of rupees 250 lakh rupees earlier. There was a preliminary inquiry. Now there is an FIR where which uh, Karthi Chitambaram has been named as accused in the case. Now, as far as uh, uh, this alleged bribe is concerned, also we have been given to understand is that the CBI has identified those individuals who were involved in getting and delivering this bribe to Karthi Chitambaram. As of now, these are allegations, these are acquisitions against Karthi Chitambaram. But what CBI is saying that they have not blocked FIR based on a source-based information. They got to know about this information when they were probing INX media case. There was a preliminary inquiry which, and, which went on for months and months and after getting a material evidence in the case, getting concrete evidence against Karthi Chitambaram, they have lost this FIR against him. You know, yeah. given that, uh, Munish, uh, just tell us how this works, really. Uh, Karthi Chidambaram is a sitting member of parliament and he's also outside of India right now. He's in London. If at all the CBI has to, uh, you know, ensure that there will be custodial interrogation, how is that really going to be ensured? 
Yeah, well, under the new law, Sneha, the CBI or any central agency, even if uh, the agency is ED, they don't need permission from the speaker, from the government or from any authority if they want to summon Mr. Par uh, Karthi Chitambaram or uh, uh, question Karthi Chitambaram. Only at the time of filing the charge sheet in the case, they will require a permission from the uh, uh, from the government. From but the as CBI? far as yes, arresting is concerned or... Uh, are you from the CBI? Even the questioning is concerned, they don't need permission. Yeah. Okay, so no permission is required. Remains to be seen what the CBI does next, essentially. But this is not the first time, uh, Munish, that uh, Karthi Chidambaram has been under his role, has been under this scanner in terms of different cases that he's been facing. He's also been arrested in the past and been interrogated by the ED. Do take us to the details of the number of cases that Chidambaram essentially there was a case against uh, Karthi Chidambaram and there is still a case against Karthi Chidambaram that is in the INX media case. There is another case, uh, um, uh, Aircel Maxis case. These cases are being probed by the uh, Central Bureau of Investigation and also by the Enforcement Directorate. And remember, ED had conducted searches on multiple occasions at the premises linked to um, Karthi Chidambaram previously. And even the Central Bureau of Investigation had conducted searches. CBI was the first agency to arrest Karthi Chidambaram when he arrived from a foreign country to India at the uh, Chennai airport. Now, as far as uh, this particular case is concerned, now the CBI has registered an FIR, but also we have been given to understand is that these documents will be sent to the Enforcement Directorate. And because this is a predicate offense for the Enforcement Directorate, they will also lodge a case against Karthi Chitamram. This is what we are hearing from our sources within the CBI. Once ED registered a case against Karthi Chitamram, they will also raid the premises linked to uh, Karthi and they will also be in position to question Karthi. So in this particular case, in the previous case, he was arrested, he was questioned, all things are done. Charge sheet has been filed in one of the case, INX media case. But as far as this case is concerned, you now the fresh amount of trouble um, 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 is uh, mounting for Mr. Karthi Chidambaram because not only the CBI has stepped into, but ED is also stepping into this case. Both the agencies have power to question him. Both the agencies have power to arrest him if there are any evidence against him. Sneha. It's also what's really interesting here is that uh, this was not a case that the CBI was looking at. It just happened to be an offshoot of another case that the CBI was investigating, isn't it? Yeah, this becomes very interesting, uh, Isneha, because what sources have told India today that when they were probing an ex media case, there is one person identified as Mr. Bhaskaran. He was questioned by the CBI. He submitted certain documents to the Central Bureau of Investigation. And when the officials were going through those documents, they got to know about certain inward and outward transactions of Mr. Um, um, about Mr. Uh, Karthi Chitambaram. When those transactions were investigated, the uh, Central Bureau of Investigation got to know about this particular power project and the visas for these Chinese nationals for uh, on behalf of the Chinese company. Now, the CBI got to know that Mr. Karthi Chidambaram was involved in getting visas for 250 Chinese nationals, for which he was given alleged kickback of rupees 50 lakh rupees. And after getting that information, CBI registered a preliminary inquiry. The preliminary inquiry was conducted. There was... Uh, uh, there were statements recorded by the Central Bureau of Investigation in that particular preliminary inquiry. And after the CBI found some material evidence in, the, in, in that particular preliminary inquiry, they registered a fresh case and now uh, the searches are being conducted in that case. So the CBI, which was investigating INX media case, now uh, registering another case against P Karthi Chitambaram, uh, you know, based on the documents which they received in the um, INX media case. Yeah. Also, you are referring to one person by the name of Bhaskar Raman. Uh, Munish, uh, take us to the details of Bhaskar Raman. He in the past also has spoken about, uh, you know, the kind of wrongdoings essentially that were happening during the course of the investigation in the INX media case. He happens to be the chartered accountant of Karthi Chidambaram. He is a key person for the hmm. uh, Central Bureau of Investigation as well as uh, as far as INX media case is concerned. His statements were recorded and when the CBI was going through the documents of INX media case, they got to know about the uh, role of Mr. Bhaskaran and that is when the CBI decided to grill him. 
when he was questioned, then he disclosed certain details about Karthi Chitambaram. He also submitted certain documents about uh, Karthi Chitambaram. So his role was important in the INX media case. He was a key person for CBI. But as far as this case is concerned, again, he becomes very important, a person of interest for the CBI because it was the documents provided by Mr. Bhaskar Raman which led CBI to this uh, uh, 50 lakh rupees bribe and linking that, that bribe to Mr. Karthi Chitambaram. So Bhaskar Raman, um, we have been given to understand is that he might be uh, called for questioning again by the CBI after the searches are over. But uh, this is uh, what has been confirmed by the sources within the CBI that soon Mr. Karthi Chitambaram will also be summoned by the CBI to appear before them for questioning in this particular case. Sneha. Yes, be with us, Munish. I'll just come back to you for more on that. Akshita continues to be with us as well. And Pramod Madhav is with us from uh, Chennai where the raids are ongoing. Uh, Pramod, just uh, take us to the details of what you really see around you. Are the CBI officials still raiding the premises of Pichadamram? Well, they are actually struggling between the, the Pichad Abrams residence, which is we are currently present, and you could see the kind of police protection that's been given over here. This area is completely cordoned, and the officials reached the spot around 6.30 a.m. in the morning. That's when the officials had come over here. We've been told close to 14 uh, CB officials have come to Chennai, of which seven are here. This is Chidambaram's residence, and the other seven at El Dorado, which is actually Karthi Chidambaram's office. And not just that, we also uh, saw uh, CB officials entering and leaving, exiting this place. We also questioned one of the CBA official, we asked him what is this about, how many locations are being raided, any raid that is being conducted at Chidambaram's ancestral property, which is at uh, uh, Car Equity as well. But so far, we only got information that this is about a visa case where allegedly 50 lakhs was taken as bribe to provide visas for 250 Chinese nationals. However, uh, like to con confirm this, Kathi Chidambaram is not in Chennai. He is in London and he has also tweeted about this. But this is the current situation. The police have been deployed across the spot and also at El Dorado, where the investigation is currently being undertaken by CBA officials. Yes, uh, also the name of Bhaskar Raman has come up once again, given that promo that we've been talking about this. This was essentially uh, not what the CBI was looking at. This is an offshoot of another case uh, which they happened to tumble upon while investigating the INX matter. Do tell us a little more about Karthi Chidambaram's chartered accountant, Bhaskar Raman, whose statement becomes extremely important. Well, Bhaskar Raman is considered as very, uh, one of the very important uh, person when it comes to uh, uh, Chidambaram family, like you know, as per sources as well, because it's already been said that he handles a lot of uh, uh, like business for the uh, uh, for Chidambaram and his son. So that's the reason CBA is also keen about Bhaskar uh, and, uh, Raman in this case. And uh, uh, here currently they have very clearly mentioned that this is about pertaining, uh, requiring documents or any kind of evidence which is about this particular case. And that's the reason, uh, uh, like uh, kind of like a flash raid is being conducted in these two important locations and. Uh, uh, like uh, here you could see like you know we also saw officials uh, uh, rushing in and exiting also because it looks like simultaneously they are trying to recover documents from both locations and that's the reason this raid seems to be very important well this is not the first place Chidambaram's residence is being raided over there in fact uh, uh, several ED raids and uh, raids have also occurred that's what Karthi Chidambaram also tried to uh, in, a, in a different way put on his tweet. Pramod B with us going to go straight across to Akshita for more on that Akshita for our viewers have just joined us just take us to the details of this case. What exactly was this project? And you've been saying there's a huge question mark on why the son of a union minister had to step in to facilitate visas for 200 of these Chinese workers. Why weren't they really getting visas? But what about the case per se? So the information that we have, as you also pointed out, Sneha, is that uh, the CBI was actually looking into the INX media case, something they've been investigating over the course of the last many years, in which Karthi was also arrested back in 2018. So while they were conducting searches and investigating that, they stumbled upon some documents that suggested a transaction uh, of uh, a few lakhs of rupees. We're hearing that there was kickbacks of 50 lakh rupees in this particular case. Now, when they investigated further, that's when they realized that that Karthi Chidambaram allegedly helped these Chinese workers of this huge conglomerate actually get visas. And Munish was telling us that that, goes, that count actually goes up to 250 Chinese nationals getting their visas. This is for a power project uh, that was commissioned in 2013 in Punjab. So from, 20, uh, from 2010 to 2014 is when the allegation stands, is when the CBI believes that Karthi actually helped these Chinese workers.
Obviously, this leads to a lot of questions uh, about uh, Karthi's role, how he facilitated this, whether his father was also involved in all of that. But the information we have is that, yes, 250 Chinese workers got their visas. Karthi facilitated that allegedly, uh, that he received a bribe kickbacks to the tune of 50 lakh rupees, that the preliminary probe actually gave out more information, so much so that the CBI has managed to file an FIR also in this particular case. The raids that are happening right now are in nine locations. In Punjab, which is where this power plant is based, this thermal power plant and the project for which Karthi allegedly helped these Chinese workers in Karnataka, in Odisha, Mumbai, Tamil Nadu, all of these places is where raids are currently happening. Extremely grave allegations this against Karthi Chidambaram. You know, he's already under the scanner in the SL Maxis case in which Karthi as well as his father P. Chidambaram are, are out on bail currently because that's how grave the charges are. Second is the INX media case in which his father has been arrested in which he too has been arrested previously. I'm sure you all remember those images of Karthi Chidambaram waving his fist up in the air when he was taken into custody uh, back in 2018 in the INX media case, which is why Karthi also took to Twitter to post a one-line comment saying that this must be a new record. I've lost count of how many times it's happened because he's uh, you know, facing the agency scrutiny in several, several cases, the SL Max's case, the INX media case. And in the course of the investigation of these two mammals, scams it looks like another one now has come to light and uh, at this point we will of course be looking to the CBI for more details of exactly what this case is about and the exact allegations but this clearly looks like a kickback case like a case where there are serious grave charges of corruption against Karthi Chidambaram. Undoubtedly these are allegations against uh, Karthi Chidambaram and what the CBI does next is something we'll have to wait for but clearly trouble is brewing for Karthi Chidambaram, who happens to be in London right now. I'm thanking all my colleagues, Munish Pandey, Akshita, and also Pramod Madhav for getting us all of those details. We'll continue to keep a close eye on that big developing story that we're getting you every single detail of.